Hi YouTube! I want to share with you some of the great products that I got at my natural hair group Wild Haired Mavens product exchange. Also, if you're in the Los Angeles area, come on out. It's just a shame for me to get all of these goodies. I would have been happy with one or two, but we do need more people to come to our products exchanges so those of us who have a lot of products can distribute it more evenly amongst a larger group of people. So I'm going to start with the shampoos. I get a lot of shampoos. I'm sorry, it's again late at night I'm doing this. Actually, it's early morning. But um, <clears throat> in any event, I get a lot of shampoos from our product exchange. Really, really good shampoos because people are always giving up shampoo. I don't know why. I love shampoo. Beautiful Curls. Curl Activating Shampoo. This does not have any sulfate in it. It uses cocoa betaine in it. And I got four different shampoos at this exchange. That's one of them. Texture My Way Hydrating Shampoo. Elastic QPs. Cream Conditioning Shampoo. I'm really excited to try this one because it has a lot of acids in it. So I love things that exfoliate. This has, oh my goodness, so many acids in it. Let me see if I can read off some of them. Citric Acid, Linoic Acid, Asorbic Acid. Um, it has retinol in it. And it has vitamin E. So... High Dantone. It is a hodgepodge of really, really good exfoliating acids to give it that extra mm. So I'm pretty excited about this one. And again, it's uh, sulfate free. It has the cocoa betaine in it. And then she got this one for me. This is Bamboo Green Tea Shampoo. Mmm, it smells so earthy and lovely, and it smells like what I would imagine a leaf smells like. I've smelled leaves and grass, and this smells like that. Bamboo is kind of a hair strengthener, so this is a good strengthening product, and green tea is supposed to keep hair on your head and keep your hair from falling out, so that's good. Let me smell some of these others. I didn't even think about that. Mm, smells like shampoo. Smells like what you would expect something with all those acids and different things to smell like. Mmm. Now this is, this smells delicious. It smells like a tropical fruit, like juicy fruit, or if you're from the southern parts, uh, like mame smells. It's really, really nice. This, little hint in there smell of pineapple and that sort of thing so this is a really delicious smelling shampoo it's a basic it's a basic shampoo with the cocoa bedine in there I don't know they probably have some I think they have some oils in this one too let's see oh that's advertisement warning ingredients yeah this has shea butter in it and olive oil so this shampoo is kind of going to be a little bit gentler because the shea butter and the olive oil is going to kind of cut the ability to get in there and really clean, clean the scalp. So if you want that, this, this already has it in there. You don't have to put it in there on your own. I just used this one and it looks all creamy, but it was a real, it was a good shampoo. Mmm. And this I don't know how to describe the smell. I smell a hint of grape and a like freshness. But when I put it on my hair, when I shampoo my hair, it doesn't have that sham traditional shampoo smell, which is good. And let me see. This has arnica in it. Arnica is good for pain relieving. And they sapified shea butter and coconut oil. So they sapified those two, and it has comfrey in it. So this has a lot of 
herbal-based ingredients. Like I said, all of these shampoos use the same cocoa bethane, which is a derivative of coconut, and it's an alternative to using sulfates. So basically, it's your choice. But this has the bamboo in there, which strengthens your hair. This has the acids in it, so this is, and retinol, so this is going to be an exfoliating product, and I need things that exfoliate, always. This, this is going to be gentler because it has shea butter and olive oil in there, and olive oil is always good on your hair. And this one is herbal. It has comfrey in it. Comfrey rejuvenates your cell. Arnica is going to make you feel more comfortable. And let me see what else does Arnica. And it's used for pain relieving. So that's great. And then once we get past that, that ain't all y'all. Mm -mm. Oh no, we have more. Look at that. A delicious serving of kinky curly curling custards and guys right now I can't afford this one but I do like this product so I was pretty excited to get this generous amount that's probably about twelve dollars worth of that curl keeper by curly hair solutions I got a sample of this when I bought something off of curl mart and I absolutely love this product. It's not targeted towards my hair type at all, but it really got rid of the frizz. My wash and go was lovely. So I have this. I haven't done a wash and go in a long time. So, but this will last me a while. That's probably at least maybe 10 to 20 wash and goes. Dr. Miracles. This is an uh, anti-breakage strengthening cream. And just going by that, I just have to assume that there is protein products in there. There's no ingredients on this container, so it must have been on the box. I wanted to try this Afrogy Keratin and Green Tea Reconstructor. This is a light protein treatment that you just put on your hair on a daily basis or whenever you feel like spritzing it on there. So it's another way to get protein without having to do a serious protein treatment. Jesse Girl Gentle Lather Shampoo. This was one of the first shampoos I used when I went on my um, healthy hair journey and grow back the baldness journey. This was one of the first shampoos I used and I love this shampoo. I'd never tried the citrus lavender scent. Let me see what it smells like. It smells very, very lavender. I don't really smell any citrus in there. Maybe when I use it, I will smell citrus. But right now, this smells like lavender. And I love lavender. Lavender is so relaxing. Oh, I forgot to smell this one. <laughs> it smells very medicinal. So I, I forgot. Dr. Miracle always puts like some smells like camphor or something in there to stimulate your scalp. So I'm going to use it. Tell you what I think. Smooth and whole pudding, olive oil, organic stimulator, or ORS as they're going by now. I love this stuff. I, people always get rid of it, but I love this stuff. It's great for a twist. It's great for twist outs. It's cheap. I can repurchase it. If I weren't getting it off the products exchange, look at this score. Cocoa bean, Darcy's Sweet Cocoa Bean Curl Smoothing Cream. Is that a full bottle? Yes, they didn't like it. Or did they? Yeah, they tried a little. Mmm. Ah. Oh, smells like chocolate cake. Oh my goodness. It is lovely. I had a sample of this, so I know I like it. It's moisturizing. It's medium weight. Let me show you. It's really a cream. It's not a lotion at all. I'm trying to see if I can get it to spread. It's not spreading. You see? It's a cream. 
it's not rub it's not a lotion oh I love that and it's good for your skin too so works really nicely there now I smell like chocolate oh my goodness I'm so delicious <laughs> Carol's daughter black vanilla we all know Carol's daughter is expensive expensive and this is the moisturizing hair smoothie let me see what this one smells like it smells all right it's, it's out of the container maybe when i combine it with the heat of my body it'll smell more vanilla it's not the strongest scent but i do love vanilla so it's as i keep sniffing it's smelling better and better, so I must still be smelling too, so it's an all-around product. I got these MAC palettes. Aren't those adorable with those dots on there? They're so cute and perfect for travel. Look at those beautiful, luscious colors. How many looks can you get in there? You have one layer of very nice brown, nudie naturals. And then you have a top layer where you have a pop of color, that nice navy to darken things up. And that green, I find I can get a really good contour out of those rich greens. They actually turn kind of dark on me. And then this one. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful absolutely gorgeous look at those beautiful golds and browns oh my goodness this is like a little baby nude palette for me this is everything I need to get a nice nude smoky eye it's just gorgeous shades of these are hard shades for me to find all of those medium tones I can find highlights in any cheap line there's a ton of highlights and thanks to the smoky eye everybody has black eyeshadow so it's easy to find black eyeshadow now the trick is finding these medium tones it's hard to find beautiful medium tones and the medium tones to me are where you differentiate between your looks because if we're all using black eyeshadow to contour and then we're all using some kind of light highlighter to pop. These medium shades is where your meat is. So that's a nice palette there. And either of these palettes would be perfect to travel with, you know. Just take a palette with you. I rarely use these. <laughs> I got these from the exchange a while back, but I love them. So, if you would like to exchange products with us, be sure and come out to our meetings. Wild Hair Mavens. We have a good time. We're great people. And, oh my God, guys, it, it makes no sense for me to have this much stuff. Four, five bottles of shampoo? Somebody else should have got one at least one bottle of sulfate free shampoos and these shampoos are expensive I think between six and twelve dollars a bottle and oh my goodness it's Darcy's cream really good stuff oh my goodness mm. oh I forgot one product curl keeper this is shocking you would not think this would work on my hair. This is designed for curly hair. It is not designed for kinky hair like mine, but it works phenomenally on my hair. When I put this on my wash and go, my curls are popping. People actually think that I might have a three something hair instead of my delicious uh, four. Yeah. I'm all those fours right up there in that head. The Lord blessed me with all the fours at one time. But this stuff is amazing for my fine hair. I think maybe that it's the fineness of the hair that makes it work so well. It might not work on coarse 4Z, but on fine 4Z, this stuff really, really defines the curls. So that is 
my haul. If you have any questions about any of these products, be sure to leave them below. And guys, when people leave comments below, if you know the answers, get in there. This is a community. It's not just about me. I know we got some hair folks watching this video. Thank you for watching the chocolate here. Mm. Black vanilla. I tried the shampoo for this one and I didn't like the shampoo. Most of you probably would. It was way too light for me. I like stronger shampoos. So that black vanilla shampoo didn't do anything for me. So that's that. Oh, this video is way too long. I'm going to start off.